Um, well, that's just really unfair. <laughs> I'm like all verklempt up here. How am I supposed to follow that? Um, thank you so much. Thanks, everyone. I have got, I'm, I've been doing this. My name is Jody Dury. I'm with the Hospitality and Tourism Program. Um, and I've been teaching here for 12 years. Um, before this, I taught five and a half years, and I teach cooking. Um, I'm a chef. I went to CIA. I'm from have 10 years New York restaurant experience, and teaching is way different. <laughs> um, so I came in. I was start when my first teaching job was teaching future chefs, and um, and then I came here, and I'm teaching people that will maybe have kitchens in their field. So it's a required class, and some of them are excited to take it. Some of them, not so much. Some of them feel like this is a waste of their time. So one of the first things I try to do is explain that this is the most important class I'll ever take. <laughs> Sorry to all of you, um, but it is. It's the it's a it's the class that you can use the rest of your life. Some, some everybody has stuff that they teach that you're going to learn for the rest of your life. Everybody, but I literally am teaching you how to feed yourself. So, you know, even if you don't ever think you're going to cook again, yeah, it can come in handy someday. And so I try to approach it that way, like hey. This isn't rocket science. This isn't calculus. This isn't, this, everyone has the capacity to learn this. And one of the basic things I try to teach them are knife skills. So how to hold a knife, how to cut things up. Because once you do that, it makes everything so much easier. You know, once you get those basic things down, everything just kind of falls into place. So thanks to Clear and Vishal, I have this great library of cooking videos which demonstrates step-by-step -step everything. Um, I have, you know, I've been doing this a while, so I, I can explain it. I have pictures. I have videos. I have the first, first cooking class. I literally do it on a camera in the kitchen on a screen, and they follow along with me step by step by step. And I'm like, surely this that will get this, right? This is, okay, here we go. No, no, no. And so week after week, I show them week after week, how do you cut an onion? Week after week, I'm like, come on, this is, the, come on, you can do this. How do you hold a knife? How do you, this is doable. Come on, try it. I know it's awkward, try it. It's awkward, try it. It's the only way to get past the awkwardness is to do it. <sighs> so about, I don't know, six or seven years into this, <laughs> I'm getting a little disheartened. I'm feeling a little bit like a failure. I'm really thinking like maybe it's time to go back to restaurants. Maybe this has become not, maybe I'm not any good at this. I don't know. I can't, you know, what, what else can I do? And so I'm like, this is one of those moments. I'm just so low. I'm just, you know, there was, I remember one place I was living in, there was a hurricane coming. I was lower than that. You know, I was just like, <gasps> and so I get up out of my desk in Sheldon Hall, and I walk over to the Union, and it's a beautiful day out, and I'm like, okay, come on, let it go, let it go, it's okay. You're not a failure, it's good, you're, it's okay. And think of the person that had the knife phobia that by the end, you, taught, you know, they knew how they could cut an onion, and they could use a knife, and it was okay. Think, it's okay. And I'm like, not buying it. You know, I'm just not buying it. And suddenly, there in the union, there is an old student of mine. Like, she graduated a few years ago. She was just back. I don't even know why she was back at the union for some unknown reason. She was just there. And she's like, Duryea! I'm like, hey, how are you? I won't tell you. Hey! And we give a big hug, and she's like, guess what? I taught everyone in my family how to cut an onion. Even my grandmother uses your, you, cuts an onion the way you taught me how. And I went, oh. Okay, so sometimes one of the things that, you know, I, you know my, my chefs, my 
my history professors, my philosophy, you know, like everybody that I've ever taught has made me, who has ever taught me, has made me who I am today. But it didn't mean that in that class I got it. And so that's one of the things that I try to remember. It's not, they don't have to get it while I'm looking at them, because that kind of pressure is nerve wracking for everybody. So, but eventually, hopefully, they'll know how to do this. And every, and, you know, I just had another student that came back his girlfriend's in my class. <laughs> and uh, he came back and he like kind of shadowed, shadowed me all day. And he's now working as a sous chef in a, in a hotel down in um, Frisco. And I, so I, they may in my class say, I'm never gonna do this again. I don't care about this. But as, as, as I've come to learn, you know, what I said, oh, so many years ago in my arrogance, I'm never going to teach. So I try to tell them that too. Hey, I said I was never going to teach, and now I have been teaching for 17 years, and I couldn't be happier most of the time. Um, <laughs> so don't give up and, to, and believe, and whatever you, wherever you are, take what you can, because you don't know what you're going to end up doing. You're only 18 or 19 or 53, and who knows where you're going to end up. So thank you.